Ogden School Foundation's annual fall author event is not only the most successful fundraising effort for our students, it has also become one of the premier social events in northern Utah. The fall author event is so popular and creates such a positive impact that it is able to attract some of the most talented and famous wordsmiths of our time. For proof, take Anthony Doerr, who came to Ogden and shared the story behind his Pulitzer Prize winning World War II historical novel, All the Light We Cannot See. In doing so, he actually broke a promise to himself because the fall author event was just too special to pass up. I was saying no to all events this fall because I've been totally swamped and uh, traveled so much in the spring and last year and was away from my family too much. Uh, but I got an email at work, um, I'm gonna say like late October, and uh, said like emergency, all caps, like, you know, Ogden School Foundation fundraiser request. And, so I opened it right away and uh, you know, read through this really nice invitation. And so I just went to the Ogden School Foundation website and uh, was just so impressed and moved by all the different ways they're getting kids out in the community and also bringing the community into the schools. And uh, the fundraiser is a big deal for the foundation. And it would be a tragedy if that money wasn't there for the schools. So it's easy to help out. Not only did Anthony deliver a keynote address that was both poignant and hilarious during the annual banquet, he even met privately with the winners of the event's student essay contest. Oh my gosh, so I got to spend a little bit of time with these 10 essay contest winners, listening to their questions and talking to them about their interest in writing. And almost my favorite part is reading these essays. And there are these beautiful essays about food and family and community. And, you know, especially with so many Hispanic students to see how they were celebrating Thanksgiving, but merging the Hispanic culture into Thanksgiving. I just love that. Uh, so not only do they like fill you with hope about young people and their belief in family and their ability to write, but also, you know, it's selfish. You take from that this wonderful gift of, you know, I re I'm going to go make a pie with my kids, you know, on Thanksgiving. And, uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a way to kind of refill your own soul. So as much as you think you're giving, you're also getting a lot on trips like this. Anthony also delivered his message about the importance of reading during a student assembly pointing out that something as simple as opening a book can do something as powerful as opening your mind. If you can get that one gateway book into these kids' hands, uh, it can open up whole worlds. You know, when my sons find, you can see them kind of reaching and reaching, and then when they find a book and the weekend comes around and they're disappearing into that book instead of picking up their phones or whatever, their Xbox, it's so, uh, it's just so exciting. It's teaching them concentration, but I think even more so it's teaching them empathy. You know, fiction is a vehicle for them to leave themselves and enter other people's lives. You can travel in time, you can travel into other cultures, and you can travel in, into the voices of people who are dead, like the Diary of Anne Frank. You know, to see my sons reading that and to think that in their heads her voice is still alive uh, you know, that's the miracle of books and uh, so anytime you can get a kid excited about reading and you see one book uh, open up the world it suddenly will be a gateway into dozens of other books and so that's yeah, so exciting that's the future of our country that's how we build empathy and uh, resist things like stereotyping and prejudice <laughs>